Hi, this is Eric with Black Hole Realty, and today I want to talk about nine things that can sabotage the sale of your home. First of all, the annoying cords hanging from your flat screen TV that's mounted on the wall. Those, if they aren't covered up, they just look bad. So either put a cover on them that matches the wall paint, or maybe during showing in pictures, just unplug them. Second is an unkept yard or outside. A lot of people drive by homes, and if the outside looks really bad, that kind of reflects on what the inside looks like too. Third, a dingy door. Front door is the first impression also with that curb appeal. And often it takes 20 to 30 seconds for a real estate agent to get the key out of a key box. So a client may be standing there and just looking at that door. Take the time to repaint it. It can really help. Fourth, not cleaning up after your pets. I know we all love our pets and we have our pets, but nothing's worse than smelling pets immediately entering a home. So do the best you can to vacuum. Um, just trying to cover it up with a candle can be kind of obvious, but do your best to cleanse your home of your pet early on. Fifth are cobwebs and dust. Check the high corners, dust your fan. Sixth is furniture arrangement. Do your best to remove some furniture so it looks more spacious inside. So when they walk in, they feel like they can imagine their furniture there rather than your furniture just taking up the entire room. Seventh are the junk drawers. We keep these things packed full of stuff. Oftentimes people, when they're walking home, they do open the cupboards, they open the drawers. And so not having them so packed can really help let that buyer imagine what they're gonna be putting in that drawer. Eight are the overfilled closets. We all have lots of stuff and we store it in the hall closet, our bedroom closet, maybe the pantry. So another thing to do is declutter those. Um, obviously you're already packing, so maybe take some of your clothes that you're not gonna be using immediately, all the winter clothes if it's summertime or vice versa, and just get them in a box early and put it in the garage. Last are the cluttered countertops. No one likes clutter on a countertop. We don't like it in our home and a buyer doesn't like it in the home that they're prospectively buying. So clear everything off there. You know, some people leave a toaster, a coffee maker, a blender, everything on the counter at all times. Put some away. You might not be using them during that open house or during the pictures or even when someone's walking through. The more decluttered and open a space looks, the better it shows to a buyer and it lets them imagine their stuff there. It's these little things that help buyers imagine a space as they walk through it. And that's why, you know, when I'm helping sell a house, I always like to give this sort of consultation to anyone looking to list and also you know, offering them advice on a stager they could use, getting discounts on storage so they can get some of the stuff out of their house earlier so it looks more open and decluttered and depersonalized. Again, thanks for joining me on this conversation about how to get your home ready and not sabotage the sale of it. If you do have any questions, feel free to call at any time, um, reach out in any way possible and I hope when you sell your home, you do it the right way and get it decluttered. Thanks.